forever. Dog! Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Okay, are we... Okay, we're starting. Yeah, we are. All right. Thank you. No, that's oh, too... Oh, you bitch. <laughs> Welcome to Treks in the City. Welcome to Treks in the City. I'm barely here. I can only hear that. I can't my hear my name own voice is Veronica Sorio. And I'm Alice Wetterland. And, to, and together we are... Still can't hear myself. Bickering. No? It's just her fault. I'm messing it's with not her, my fault. I'm messing with her ears, Brad. Don't you worry. Brett, don't you worry. Don't you worry about a thing, Brett. <laughs> Brett's like, I want to worry. May I worry? <laughs> Brett's our dad. He's our age. Brett's worried. He can't worry. Um, he's like, welcome. Should I worry? Veronica uh, has been empowered so with the with the uh, the cord, uh-huh. and, and she's the soundboard person today. So, <laughs> good luck, listeners. Good um, luck. You're in for it. I mean, I, I just do request that you're not on your phone. Really the cool time songs. Though. Could you not be? Well, Is I'm there going any to. Way? I'm going to look for. I'm going to look for a soundboard. Soundboard. You literally can I'm tell. Murder look. you. Soundboard. Yeah, Sound- but then you're gonna have a million years. Soundboard. That com. That com. That com. Go. That c- soundboard. That com. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought you said that come. I was like, <laughs> that makes, <laughs> you're having a stroke. That makes no Usually. sense at all. <laughs> all right. All right. You figure out that. I'm going to introduce yeah, our guest. I think that's what you should do. You should focus on your own thing. Kind of keep going. Yeah. That's uh, how don't podcasts. Don't worry about what I'm doing. That's how podcasts. And let me be on my phone and do you what know, I need to do. my favorite podcasts well, are when the two oh. hosts just kind of focus on their own thing. <laughs> 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 and they kind of just independently work. You know, there's like a, I like to put up a Chinese wall between you, the two hosts. Why don't you like go uh, do your own thing? Do my, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I'll, next to you me. Know, I'll find well, myself I over here. I do my own thing. Okay. You do your, See ya. Your thing See ya there. later. Bye. <laughs> Please do it as loudly as possible as well, since my task is not Sonic. Um, oh, you guys, man. our guest in studio today, a person we've talked about on this show before. First of all, a person. <laughs> Don't chime in with my thing that I'm doing. Okay. If you're doing your thing, I'm okay? so sorry. Okay, we agreed. Here we go. <sighs> anyway, uh, a close friend of mine, a very fucking funny comedian. Um, we have talked about him on this podcast before. I'm sure he'll want to know what that is about. <laughs> and uh, and a friend of Veronica's too. And we're so happy to have him on the show because he's premiering a podcast on the Forever Dog Network soon. So please welcome so to the studio. Whitmer Thomas. Woo! Thank you all. We usually have a soundboard, Woo, soundboard. that this is makes a, ah, an applause woo, noise. Clap, clap, feels clap, good. Clap, clap, I like clap, what clap. this is. Crowd. Clap, what clap, clap, what clap, is clap, this? Clap, Music. Clap, clap, clap. I, I, it's called Piano Scenes. Okay. It's so. an album called Piano Scenes. Oh, cool. I just subscribed to calmradio.com. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, it, and it's like a serious <laughs> XM radio station type thing where you like... It's just all sorts of calming music. But they have like vintage country and stuff, which is why. Oh, that sounds I nice. Yeah, it's, it's actually I don't really want good. calm music right no. now, ever. What I kind want of music do you want? <laughs> That's pretty calm. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Just uh, Kate, uh, Kate Bush. <laughs> uh, like all Kate the time. Bush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, you know. What else do you like? Inspirational, kind of exciting. Right, just right now, that's what I want. I want like trumpets and synth and snare. Why is that? Because we're we're going into the fall season, so it seems like we want to slow down a what little bit. What about this? I don't know. It's just something. Is... No. Too calm? That's too jazzy. Well, that's that's orchestral. He said trumpets and synths. So. I want something synthetic this sounding. This is all too old. Go to the 80s. It's what, nice. Where do you want? Where? What year? What year were you want me to play? Like he's uh, making your life difficult. Drives, he is making my life difficult. Drive Me Crazy by Fine Young Cannibals is all I <laughs> want. So okay, good. let's see. Good answer. Drive... 
me. Sure. Definitely verbalize it while you type it. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, how are you, Wes? How are you? I'm good. I really got to know what y'all said about me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, of course. What did we say? Um, One episode, or at least one episode, I know that we've, we've made reference to you because there was a... I find that a lot of people on this show... A lot of the extras, at least, look like you. Like, to, <laughs> like, there's been people on this show who've been Who? like, didn't didn't we say like, doesn't that guy look like like one of the you know how there'll be like a, a guest star that comes on and they're like, hey, I'm um, face person <laughs> A or whatever, yeah. and like I've I know there's an episode or two maybe the at listeners point, can keep yeah. track of this for us, but like there's an episode I've I've been like that guy looks like Wit, yeah, and then we just refer to that guy as Wit Is for the rest a, of the show. Uh, gangly stringy haired big toothed man typically i know that's how you think of yourself but your that's... teeth are the most perfect they're yeah Thank you. I, think oh, you, well. I think you have beautiful teeth i told Olivia, i was like he has great teeth oh that's nice it was creepy how many times i said it <laughs> I'm so well sorry. i think y'all got great te- teeth too so thank, thank you thank um, you i was never really said fishing. shit about my teeth <laughs> been sitting next y'all to got you. great hair this and teeth time. that's why you were looking at me like that just now because i never said anything about your teeth a lot of people like my teeth I, <laughs> i'm sorry i didn't specifically I need compliment so much validation your teeth. from you today it's uh, weird i don't know if that was the case with a with the extra was it an extra or a guest i don't know i just can't remember i know so i think the listeners if they're if they're hardcore and are you hardcore are you hardcore? <laughs> then you've listened and you've heard me reference and you've heard Ronica reference our friend Whit before, Whitmer Thomas, but he's in the studio with me today. Here Happy he to is. Here. He's joy. He's a delight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Lights. Yeah. Lights. You didn't find the song. Is is this- that- <laughs> what? what you- you've been looking for it this whole time. I missed I miss what you said, so oh. I know it's dr- drive me crazy. You actually verbally find repeated it. Find Young Cannibals. Find Young Cannibals. F-I-N-E, not find. Just F- to be clear, I, and fine. Uh, I wish there. I think there's an episode of Star Trek in which they find some young cannibals. Y'all gotta calm down. Hey, I bet. I have to calm down. <laughs> Why did I get that? Y'all gotta calm down. I've never seen Star Trek. Oh, really? Ever. Usually Until we now? ask that question. There, there we, we go. go. Uh, that snare. See, that's what I'm looking for. And then in my the guitar life. comes in so clean. It's very nice. It's pop. This there's is a, good. There's a photo of Tom Hanks right in the cover. Yeah, no. there's Tom Hanks. <laughs> no, nope. I feel like that's Tom Hanks. <laughs> this is really nice. There you go. Right? Oh, I kill to just have written this song. It's like this. Whoa, Al! Check out my sunglasses lifting. <laughs> this is the best part. Watch. <laughs> Alice is showing a video of her lifting, uh, weightlifting, uh, uh, and then <laughs> waving with a gigantic weight. I didn't know you lived. I lived so much, dude. I be cool. li- you did know I lifted. Uh, not I Instagram like that. it a lot. <laughs> if, uh, yeah, if maybe ever I maybe lived. I've seen that. Yeah, it's I guess we've never stories. spoken about it. I do. I started doing <laughs> Olympic lifting with my trainer That's last fun. year, and it's great. I love it. It's That's, like the only kind of workout I enjoy. That's cool and slamming. My only kind of <laughs> uh, okay. my only kind of workout I think would be like if I was strong and I could just look at my own strong body in the mirror. <laughs> That's what everyone at Equinox does. All the other guys at Equinox I see around me. I'm a guy too, so whatever. But mm-hmm. I see guys and they're just all fa- like right next to the mirrors. All like so the mirrors are just surrounded by dudes being just like. <clears throat> Yeah, that's like the, fully looking at their biceps. But you gotta see your form, right? I mean, that's what I understand about exercising. I, I think people get the, like I think people get inspired by seeing the results that they're creating. Right. So I think that's what the the looking in the mirror. Thing I is would about. only work out to look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Yeah. That's the only reason. I understand Looking that. at yourself in the mirror and seeing yourself ripped is the greatest thing in the world. Yeah. Ah. Oh, the <laughs> so dream. Good. The dream. It's I so wish good. I would have ever done that. But if you see, I see myself in the you mirror. Still all do I see it. is all I see is kind of like started <laughs> when I was older than you. What when I'm, I'm ripped and jacked. What I'm doing. <laughs> all I see is you are ripped and jacked. I am ripped. I and actually jacked. would be afraid of you kicking me. I'm fucking tear this place apart. There's nothing worse than Alice kicking. I think if Alice decided to really kick my face, she would break it. If I if I decided to really kick your face, <laughs> not you know, like I've fake decided it. before. I've made a decision consciously before to kind of kick your face, but you have never. I've never decided to like, you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to really kick her face. I'd love to kick a face. <laughs> if you had the, sk- if where? you were where in, in an oh, alleyway Let or me something. ask you, no, no, but like, uh, what, what part city? of your foot <laughs> to what part of the face? Oh, top, top of the foot to the, to the cheek. Yeah. Just, top, top of the foot and to the, the foot to the cheek. Top of the foot And I'm thinking it's going to be in Brooklyn. Yeah, it'd be in Brooklyn. I'd be, I'd be wearing a leather jacket with the half collar. And no butt. Pants? 
No butt pants. <laughs> <Just> assless <laughs> chaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Going no butt. around Brooklyn. Being what do like, you got a problem with my assless chaps? See what kind of movement they allow? And yeah. then you'd kick. And then you roundhouse <laughs> kick. What would it sound like? To the jowl. Well, their just, whole face would break. It would be like, wah, wah, <laughs> Their whole wah. face. Ow. Every You know it wouldn't be like that. <laughs> I know. It'd right. be strong and cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> It'd be smooth and swift. Right? Yeah, smooth Whitmer, and swift. Uh, you nickname people. Yeah. And that's something that I know about you. I just... Uh, What's yeah, your nickname what for this one? What kind of nicknames? One? Um, hmm. You've never nicknamed her. You've never nicknamed. See, me. I got, we nicknamed, I got nicknamed right away, and I feel like what what Wit does is he has like a you're a, like a, Al. A, he has a brain that like a thing in his brain where he's like must nickname immediately uh. upon meeting, and then like you just have to go with whatever you comes first. Because you went Al real quick, and I have not been to es- I have not been able to escape Al. Oh, you don't he's like been it? Calling, I've told you several times that I'm like I love not to be Al. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, but it's our it's it's our thing. You don't can't not do not it now. Call her Al. Okay. No Alice. one else does it. Alice. So I know. Oh, that have, sounds awful. Okay. <laughs> well, what do you want me to say? You have to call me Slap out. Jack? That doesn't. Don't let her be it. difficult on your know. face. All right. Okay. <laughs> Slapjack and. Um, That's called a kick. And uh, slam. I uh, know. Slam. Slam jank. Slap jack. Slap jack and slam jank. It just has Hello. to come out. Like a lot of times. Like, yeah. Let let him. Sorry. Like, uh, you know, one time you I saw him. my friend eating a salad and I called him salad boy for three years. Mm. So it just, you know, I. I uh, That's very arbitrary. That's. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's avant garde. Sometimes it comes out. I, you know. <laughs> one time I, I rescued a dog. salad boy because I'm eating salad. I'd oh. be so upset. <laughs> I'd be like, why didn't you catch me eating something cooler? <laughs> but then maybe it could be like, really t- I could call you something cool. I mean, Slapjack is pretty cool. Slammer is cool. Um, mm-hmm. S- what about like Cypher? Ooh, Cypher. <laughs> Cypher is cool. the coolest. Yeah. Cypher is the coolest. <laughs> is my, Garrett and I were trying to decide on nicknames because he came up with, we start, I started calling him Hoobie because, because he's your... N- because one time That's he like, said like we were husband. watching the sub- uh. we were watching the Sopranos and he <laughs> like something crazy happened. Tony Soprano did something crazy on the screen and he goes and and Garrett turns to me and he's like Hoobie <gasps> <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's like what? It's not I even like a word. Hoobie. And I was like you're Hoobie and That's so he started calling and he's like well, what are we gonna call you and and what are you we know, gonna we, we call tried you? Out, we tried out like um, Blade. <laughs> Did That's he, pretty cool. I wish stick. he did. He su- did he suggest we tried Al. out Bebo. Yeah, Al. He never suggested Al. I think the, I think we're going for a two syllable here. Gotcha. Um, Al is. But thanks for applying, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call what you. What about is? Is ice? What about I C E? Ice. I C E. I C Al. Ugh. Okay. One of my friends calls me Akiche. That's literally your because name, but back. I typed my name wrong one time in a chat, and it was A L I C E, and I typed A K I C E, mm. and so Akiche. Well, no one ever gives me a nickname because I think my name is already Too kind short. of a nickname. You're Wit. Yeah. Wit Mirio. <laughs> yeah. Shitmer. You know. Mar- oh, oh, that no. sucks. Don't, Don't let call- them call you that. Thank you. Who calls you that? I'm going to roundhouse kick them in the face <laughs> once I get my assless chaps on. <laughs> i got to get my kicking pants ready. I so wait, I have a question. Sure. Have you ever watched Star Trek? <laughs> no. He already said I it. know, but I always Did ask I it, say so it I wanted to ask it. I've never seen it. Um, as a ki- You know, when it would come on TV when I was a kid and it was on all the time, uh, something about the aesthetics didn't appeal to me. Like what? I understand. It felt the visual? cheap or something. Yeah. Cheap? Yeah. But now I was just watching. You know how much money I spent on those suits? Uh, Each one of those suits is three thousand. Did you just go through puberty? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> so it's over. It's, over. <laughs> it's um. But, no, I, I get it. But now I don't think that. I just watched this episode mm-hmm. and it, I cried. At I cried it too because I thought it was sad. It's it was sad. And uh, I I feel like I the message is that. very interesting. It's layered. It's, now now watching it in 2018 is. You know, he's saying you must pick a gender. And I'm like, okay, that's progressive because you can pick a gender. But yeah. he's making her pick, pick. a gender? Uh, yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think of that. Well, I was think I was – all of that conversation, which was very in- – so basically Data creates – So let's do the Netflix synopsis, right? It's episode – 16 of season three, The Offspring. The Offspring. Netflix synopsis is, hoping to further his creator's work and perpetuate his species, Data creates – an android named Lal. 
Which means beloved. One of the more famous episodes of the series. Yes, one of the top episodes of the yeah, show. Yeah, I feel People really honored that one. I got to do this. You should. Yeah. I read should. up about it. You read up about it? You're a lucky boy. It's of the You're top. lucky boy. Thank you. <laughs> Because we got some real bad ones. A lot of people requested this episode. I mean, poof. we had emails. Michelle Obama wanted to do it. And, his, Mish? and her famous Mish? husband. You call her Mish. <laughs> She's like, hey, Wit. Yeah. And no. her, kind of name. her husband requested it, too. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I know, I know about him. I heard. Yeah, yeah he, she's married. Um, Unaware of who that is. So, so the, yeah, this is so when the conversation about the gender was happening, I was, I was extreme, like hyper aware of what they m- might say because this is a 30 year old show. And I became a little bit afraid. And then nothing really was as awful as anything we've seen. Even five years ago. I know. Like, mm-hmm. even, like, Big Bang Theory jokes or... It seemed so... In, it was, like, very intelligently written. Yes. In a very um, kind of careful I feel like I want to skip to the gender to me, scene, but there's the, so much to see ahead the, of it beforehand. The so. fact that, that we have, like, the fact that... Uh, and w- just because you brought that up, I'm, I'm, I'm still honing in on it. But the fact that he was like, I have several thousand options. Mm-hmm. And... The counselor who's the psychologist of the ship is, was like thousands and he's like, it's a big decision. And I was like, this is really good because he he basically created a, like a neutral look. No, it wasn't neutral at all, but he yeah, it, it was a genderless kind of not freak. really genderless freak. You can say it with his tiny, yeah, little, tiny little square mouth, tiny yeah. little. <laughs> it, it was like a one. Of, what are those monkeys with the red butts? Baboons. The It had like a baboon like. Yeah. Sh- mouth shape. Um, mm-hmm. In fact, my first note I made was I like uh, Law's tiny mouth. <laughs> I liked it too. You is a freak. Yeah. I like um, I like Law's <laughs> tiny mouth. Um, but I like that it was I like her still skin sheen. It was still like a Ken doll, you know, or like yeah. a Barbie, like the the kind of n- no um, no parts, no sexual organs, which parts unknown, but a big I guess ass. <laughs> Really, it had a big, strong, like muscular little ass, a little was, big. Yeah, as a man in the costume, I, yeah. I researched. Oh, it had oh, a big ass. I didn't know that. With okay. that big old ass, <laughs> it was and, a big round ass. And then when they turn, yeah, because this, the toes were mad hairy. Yeah, when you first saw it on the screen. Yeah, and I was like, I remember this being a girl. Why are their <laughs> toes so hairy? But um, so I feel like it does make a point about choosing gender because. They talked about it. They were like, this is how people will relate to you. So gender, even if you don't identify as a gender or like now it's been a such a conversation, it's still how people relate yeah. to you. Like um, if I'm not into females at all and I want to relate sexually, I don't I won't go to someone that seems like a female to me. You know, mm-hmm. like that. that's just biology. That's like just- you won't have a com- like a sleepover convo with a straight woman. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I will fucking eliminate them from my conversation list. No, I'm joking. Damn. It's it, but it's true that like it it does uh changes it changes the interaction the social yeah. interactions. It, it doesn't mean anything bad or judgmental. It just means it it will change your perspective on life entirely, which is what the gender any anyone who changes gender or like uh does like drag knows this. They know yeah. that it just the way you present yourself changes everything. So I love that they were like yeah. ahead of their time. The, what? Yeah. Uh, it was ahead of its time. I mean, the way that it talks That's about 30 years old. Like And it really the final main lesson is that if you have a big ass, you, you're going to do great. <laughs> no matter no what. No matter what you pick. Yeah. So, um let's see Picard reacting. Captain's log supplemental. Yeah, he was data. Oh, this is great acting. Project undertaken by Commander Data. Unparalleled. Lal has a positronic brain. One very similar to my own. Although I began programming we're missing cybernetics conference. The first conversation. Nobody's ever been I'm able so sorry, to do but that well, it's okay. At least not since well, we you kind of broke. covered that. True, well, but there no, was a new well, sub micron matrix. There's a lot to go over. When they discover Lal for the first time. Cause Yeah, but it's like that's just introducing the concept. No, no, it's to, it took a long time getting to this part, <laughs> but I'm so whatever. This is a it was very mysterious. This thing Do you have any idea is when they find Lal Something and they first that hear how Data relates. Back, he spent every off-duty minute in that lab. It's not like Data to be so secretive Love her dress. and cautious. Yeah. She's kept that lab Monochrome. locked every minute. Matching now, How would you know that? <gasps> uh huh. You both matched Deanna Troy today. Mm-hmm. 
Aqua. Oh, you are early. Is it in your way? One moment, please. I'll do this. Look at that hairy foot. I love this. So he connects the foot. It is weird that he was keeping it a secret, actually, now that I think of it. It is a large you may secret. Enter now. Sorry, I was just listening to this new John Tesh Come on, Data. song. What is this? Yeah, Data, what's going on? I would have said, what the crap is this? <laughs> so Data's I laugh walked is... in and been like, what the devil? <laughs> Holy heck, Data, what the heck you do, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Ensign Wit. <laughs> I would so this watch a show with Ensign Wit. Are you kidding me? Oh, what the Jesus kid. <laughs> wow. I love, I love this tiny Troy. mouth with a square nose. Yeah. Hello, Counselor Deanna Troy. Lol. How do you do, Lol? I am functioning. With the normal parameters. So this is the beginning wow. of Lal's speech pattern, this is Jordan which is LaForge. very technical. Purpose for exterior drapings, it's, father. She's just been activated. Exterior drapings is it a dope name of a fashion custom line. That we wear clothing, data, and a band, it calls and anything. Father. Yeah. Podcast. Wesley. So Wesley, Wesley <laughs> mouths Lal father to like point out that that this is unusual. Like, does data have the need to procreate? We just didn't know this about Data before. And now we do. We no one knew that Data wanted to like procreate or be called father or felt any kind of paternal. <laughs> Nobody saw him as a daddy. No one was like supplemental. I have just been this android. Highly unusual project undertaken. Would maybe have the data. need to procreate, but he is a sentient being, so brain. of course. One very similar yeah. to my own. As He's a, always trying to be human. As a kid, I just thought of him as being uh, pale, a pale <laughs> guy. Yeah. And little did you know. And you were very correct. He's this complex man. At least not since you were programmed. So, True, but the guard's reaction now we have it. Matrix transfer technology well, he's about to get it. The conference, which I discovered real hop and mad. Because Picard hates children. <laughs> ah. So you did a transfer from your brain into Lal's. Exactly, Wesley. I realized for the first time that it was possible to continue I really Dr. like this Soane's production work. design of like yeah. the lab uh, My initial green and black and, very encouraging and Lal's. Results. Yeah. So I brought have Lal's you seen this room before? Data? I don't think yeah. we have seen it. Oh, maybe yes. I would like to have been consulted. Jordy used it mm -hmm. when he fell in love. I have not observed anyone else on board consulting you about their procreation, Captain. I love this Damn. point. It's true. Why didn't you give it a more human look, Data? I have decided to allow my child to choose its own sex and appearance. Commander Data, Lit. at your convenience, I would like to talk with you in my ready room. Counselor. I want to decide its gender. <laughs> yes. And its look. It's going to be a boy, a strong boy. <laughs> a strapping young man. I insist we do whatever we can to discourage the perception of this new android as a child. It is not a child. He's so mad. It is an invention, albeit an extraordinary one. So, why should biology Patrick Stewart said this is his favorite episode. Whether it's a really? child. Yeah. Data makes has sense. created an offspring. So Picard hates a children. Not his own being. To me, <laughs> that suggests a child. If he wishes to call Lal his child, then who are we to argue? Well, if he must. But I fail to understand how a five-foot android with heuristic learning systems and the strength of ten men can be called a child. You've never been a parent. I Damn. love this because it's like it's two times he's been shut down by with his like stupid comments. And I'm sorry, I love P Captain Picard, but it's like. No one else is consulting you about procreation, so why would I? Uh, and this is how he sees it. And well, Captain Picard is just finding out this is how Data sees it. Mm -hmm. uh, and two, it's like you know what, like those movies about I don't know any movie about like this is my child and people being like that's an abomination or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what these movies are, but they have been, they're out there, right? <laughs> Sounds like any baby shower I go to. <laughs> <laughs> <And then> what? <laughs> what? That makes sense. The baby's not born yet. Why yeah, did I say it? It's funny. Oh. <laughs> That's classic Alice. <laughs> okay. I don't like you saying Alice. Yeah, I know. I've I have caught myself about three times just now it's trying not to so say Al. Head. Say Al. It's my name. Say Al. It's who okay. I am. Say Al. I give you permission, right? That's I what Picard is doing did. about Data's life. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> where else? He's deciding. I mean. 
No, and then like what the idea of like being a parent is and how you see your child. Right. Like, um, aren't there people who like grow too fast for their size or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's a thing. <laughs> right? Like yeah. abnormally, like th it's a condition or something. And then people are like, I don't know. I just I just find it that they, it has so many like it's also it's strange that points. he's saying like I can't believe that someone who has these abilities is a, called a child and it's like well yeah but you are in the you are in a distant galaxy where you know all these other species that have all these powers so like it's weird that you've decided that a child has to be a human basically and have human characteristics or whatever and like be small it has to either else. be like a kitten or a or a little kid, a human kid. It's little. like, well, why? Why do you think that? There's like, some species live like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, Earth years, so. I think he probably would have been cool with it if the robot baby was a baby size. Yeah. <laughs> but then it so? stayed a baby size. You think so? It stayed then a it baby size for about seven years and then grew to five feet or however old yeah, you are. Yeah, you think it would be like much cooler if it was like, ah. I think Picard would be like, yeah, <laughs> it's small, all right. I, I accept this as normal. As You're a, right. As Actually, he might have been. He might have reacted differently than it's like, oh, you've created a new like sentient android that's walking around and talking. Yeah. But it's a flaw, flawed premise because um, then you have to destroy that body and like make an, a new one. No, yeah, maybe right. every Grow. seven years you have to like. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's like Terminator. Yeah. Biology where his yeah, skin and ages and grows. He has a positronic brain, which is essentially a computer that changes itself. So his body could do that, too. I think there's no way to have an android child that's not fully grown already. Well, I'm saying that the, we don't have the possibility to do we it don't. today. And I they couldn't don't have do it, it in here. I mean, I couldn't cobble together what's on that shelf over there and do it. But like maybe in the 24th century. I would have loved for Troy's last line was like you've never been a parent and also that's the only way to make an android a new android baby are yeah. you guys yeah. all joking because i'm talking seriously and then, about and then no i realize that you're talking seriously yeah, i'm talking yeah. seriously <laughs> it said call them. i'm trying to be serious call them a dumbass. i don't care about comedy or <laughs> its consequences <laughs> seems strange <laughs> comedy um, or its consequences so do y'all talk about the fashion also <laughs> yeah a lot okay i really like um wesley's Turtleneck. That was my first introduction to it. Everything Wesley wears is great. Um, He's so great. is he always wearing that? Pretty much. That's his uniform throughout this season. Previously, he, he wore this Academy incredible sweater. If you want to Google Wesley sweater, Wesley sweater is a it's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, but then I think you can buy them. Yeah. You, well, they're available at vintage stores, but like they put him in these like insane sweaters. Uh, and then eventually he enters the academy and starts wearing the uniforms, even though he's an ensign hmm. Actually, right now. It's not. Oh, here we go. Oh, whoa. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty fab, isn't it? Yeah, I love it. The salmon collar, like, ruffles. I mean, there's some, some issues that I have later with Leslie, but it's not really, you know, we can get there later. Wow. What are the issues? Uh, just something. Later in the epi episode, he's called out of the room because he needs to get a haircut and his hair's already very short <laughs> and it's like what are they gonna cut it didn't it was far, come up with something else yeah. yeah easily what are they gonna there's nothing to cut what if he just leaned like, back in before your... he went out and he was like uh my pubes yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're cutting my pubes finish so your project knows. or whatever you yeah know. yeah let Wesley, him live gotta... his life how old is he also like, yeah you like you have to your remind him lizard. to get a haircut yeah, yeah. So yeah, do you want to hear Picard talking about... Yeah, I want to hear it. This okay. is great acting here. I am truly dismayed. Dismayed, I love that word. you told no one of what you were doing. I am sorry, Captain. I did not anticipate your objections. Do you wish me to deactivate Lal? It's a life data. It can't be activated and deactivated simply. This is a most stupendous undertaking. Did turn her down off when she was asking too much. Have you any idea what will happen when Starfleet learns about this? I have followed all of Starfleet's regulations to the best of my ability. I expected they would be pleased. Well, you have taken on quite a responsibility, Data. To prepare, I have scanned all available literature on parenting. <laughs> there seems to be much confusion on this issue. I love One that three, traditional doctrine years insists the theater, spare so like... the rod and spoil the child, suggesting a punitive approach, while another more liberal attitude would allow the child enormous freedom 
Data. And what Klingons do to their children. Data, I am not talking about parenting. I am talking about the extraordinary consequences of creating a new life. Does that not describe becoming a parent, sir? Ah, oh, Data. You oh, got me. He keeps getting him. Double face palm. Data, you are seeking to achieve what only your own creator has been able to achieve. To make another functioning, sentient android. To make another Data. Procreate. That is why I must attempt this, sir. I have observed that in most species, there is a primal instinct to perpetuate themselves. Until now, I have been the last of my kind. If I were to be damaged or destroyed, I would be lost forever. But if I am successful with the creation of Lal, my continuance is assured. I understand the risks, sir, and I am prepared to accept the responsibility. If every man just talked like that. Oh, so good. He's so nice. I'm so turned on right now. Yeah, me too. I'm like, oh. So it's Picard. <laughs> Look at this Everybody, ass. Everybody's like, oh. Look at that ass. It's so, gender female. This is the. That's right. Just like me. Gender male. If Correct. you did that to like, people that on the street. Like, what the fuck? And I am gender neuter. Inadequate. Mm, okay. That is why you must choose a gender well, to almost complete your woke. appearance. But it's pretty uh, good for the past. I Access mean, your data bank mm -hmm. on sexuality level two. That will define the parameters. First of all, whatever you decide will be yours for your lifetime. It's a decision that will affect that how people interrelate isn't with quite you. True. I choose your sex and appearance. No law. Yeah. That would be confusing. We are taking you to the holodeck yeah, to girl. show you several thousand composites I've programmed. I you chose your sex and appearance last night. 400 Seven years thousand. in the future, is there this are is sev several thousand genders. Well, I guess like if you're considering... There's more genders than Eskimos have words for snow. Every kind of appearance, if you're... <laughs> <laughs> like, here's what she said that was incorrect. <laughs> what? What? Whatever you choose will be yours for your lifetime. Like, what? well... Not yeah, necessarily true. I mean, you can do that. You keep, but like, no, I'm saying what you, for you, like you'll be stuck. You know what I'm saying? If the idea of gender being fluid Depending, is true, yeah. then that's not necessarily She should case. have said, unless you She's have like enough money to change it again. <laughs> unless you can go back to the holodeck and do that again. Unless you have some la latinum, <laughs> latinum yeah. bars that you can trade in uh, go to in quartz. the black market and get an operation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if that happens, I'll be there for counseling, so. Yeah. I don't think they were uh funnily it's funny that now we see that that conversation as like the gender conversation we're currently having mm -hmm. but it's I don't think they were thinking about No, that's any what's great about that. it. But what happens when you remove the conversation that's so like fraught in our society right now and so many people are weighing in and so many people are freaked out by gender um, non-conformity and they're like, you know, like Christian groups or whatever and like the right wing is like so threatened by the idea of gender non-conformity that they're all weighing in and it's like, look what happens when nobody's thinking about it and it's just like a natural thing. Like, oh, well, what would a sentient being want? Like to choose its own gender, D done. I love that. I love that idea. I we love don't have to worry about it. It's not like a scary prospect that threatens our gender, you know. And mm -hmm. but it's still like still humans are like, why didn't you give it a human appearance? Or like, I've decided to let my child choose what they. It's want. a baby. I love that. I love. Um, Do you know what a baby is? Nobody. Uh, no. New York Times article. It's about people who don't gender their children. And they just let them choose eventually, and then they just refer to their child as they until they. Gear up to the age that they decide because they will anyway, right? I mean, I think, yeah. Um, my my best friend, best friend just had a boy and a girl at the same time, mm -hmm. and I'm I've just been gonna willfully confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been really struggling to because the mom is very like gender, like heteronormative, mm -hmm. even though she's like kind of a hippie person. She's truly uh, out of this world in a lot of ways and very advanced. But She's a Charlotte at heart. Um, I don't know what that means. I never watched that shit. <laughs> you didn't watch city. Sex in the City? I did not watch Our it. show is named after it. Yeah, because I get it. I get the cultural reference. <laughs> and I Oy accepted it. Vey. I don't oh want to watch that show. It's I okay. I had to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to watch it. It's not my show. Um, it's not for me. 
So, but I they they have been just. It's so hard for her to imagine that she could like the baby girl mm -hmm. could wear the boys' clothes and or wear neutral clothes mm -hmm. like. Right, right now, she currently has more clothes than him. Cause, and I was like, how do you know? And she was like, well, there's a lot of more like girl stuff. And I was like, oh, so heteronormative. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a baby who needs to not be cold. Mm -hmm. It's been, I don't know, it's been such a struggle. I, it's just very present in my mind how like gender operates. I think, yeah. I think a baby should live in the pillowcase until it's three. <laughs> exactly. It's kind of like, yeah. that covers the make, entire baby, right? That's what they make drawers for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> put the baby in the pillowcase, put it in a drawer, let it decide what it wants to do. Yeah, later. Yeah. <laughs> when it's ready to come out of the drawer, It'll tell you. It can do Believe me. Yeah. It'll tell you. <laughs> toss it a toss it a biscuit in there. Toss the baby a biscuit. Yeah. And let it let it choose its gender. Yeah. It's it in there just choosing its gender. Gender. <laughs> yeah. What do um, you think of uh, of uh Lal's when she starts walking? I was like, Do you have to walk like that? Right, yeah. I was thinking that same thing. Okay. Law's performance is interesting. Mm. Okay, tell us. Because she is uh, better and uh, smarter and like an improvement on data, mm -hmm. right? But she talks and walks more like a robot. Yes. So shouldn't she be more like a human? Or soften or, up as yeah. like the episode goes? I was thinking that too because uh, it's very, very... It's not a small performance. It's very big how like... And it's by the uh, woman of... who played the mom in Even Stevens. Oh, nice. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Well, my my theory for that is if I had to in universe. No, sorry, not uh, even seen the Hillary Duff one. Sorry, I, would, I can't remember what Hannah, it's called. No, um, Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, thank you. If I had to justify it in universe, I would say it's because Data's programming wasn't good enough to. Also, Data's had more time on Earth to like adjust himself to the way people talk naturally, and eventually. He got to the point where he talks the way he talks, and it's only through interacting with humans. So I think like that would be my justification that like she just hasn't interacted enough with people to be able to like mime their mannerisms. Yeah, yeah that that's right. Yeah, I think. You're do you right. want to see this scene? Well, this scene is really funny. I really convinced. I do. I really convinced. Him. This scene is really funny because they got um, a classic Martian. <laughs> a classic Martian, and, then, I know, and no one's ever seen a classic Martian on this show. Yeah. And it's a cover of of the episode too. It's like Martians Weekly. And then <laughs> episode. what's also really like funny Cars magazine. Yeah. is this line that she's about to say when she looks at the most like brown haired, no face guy. Yeah. The, and, like the most, most boring so looking boring. guy. And she's like, ah, this is a very handsome or whatever. Gender sequence Unremarkable. Finalists. Begin. So she's chosen. An Andorian female. Interesting. Green Martian. You'll be the only one on board the Enterprise, Lal. Mm. That could make socialization more difficult. He knows about that. He sh a should have said male. that. Very attractive. Nope. <laughs> There's no nope. problem with socialization here. I love Whoa. That, that warping effect a that human female. Little Mirror has. I like her. A Klingon male. Yep. A friend for Worf. Such a... And now you see Modern the butt. Here's the butt. Look at the butt. It's Do you so have round. A He's got a great butt. Yes. yes. I have, I have chosen. chosen. He looks like a friend I have. That face. Uh, <laughs> I just I love his sex butt. With, uh, and then I have completed yeah, assembly of the replicated uh -oh. anatomy. I was able did to he have that butt? He had no parts. More realistic he, skin he and eye butt. color than my own. He also had problems. This is how they justify just using an actor with no no weird paint on their face. Okay. Congratulations, Dana. With just like it's a go. Even the skin is better. <laughs> One thing I wasn't good at was making a robot act the normal way, but I did make it look exactly like a person. I don't like Lol's hair. This is no? No, I think, no. Uh, and oh. also I was like, Data picked the, the wrong wig, but I forgot that actually Lal picked her right. own she hair. She picked her own hair. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish Lal had slicked back Data hair. Oh, yeah. I think that that would just be a cool choice. It would have been amazing. Yeah. It would have been yeah, so that's, great. You're correct about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer to you. You're my hair guy. Uh, is that that alarm we're hearing? It's here in downtown L.A. where we're not. Yeah, we're. At. It's in a place such as downtown L.A. that might have those. But Wait, we're not there. where are we? We're always trying to make it 
a like secret a, where we are. As though people location. are going to just like once they find out. Just uh, we're just, in Mar Vista. Mar, thank you, Mar <laughs> Vista, classic. <laughs> I like Good that sculpture they have Vista. in the in the back. That like uh, maybe like what is it, Adams? Yeah, I like the sofa. So this is his room. Just this is Such Lalby and Lal. Just Lal being Lal. There are many fascinating experiences. So she should be I robotic right you. now and kind of go to and she and is. smooth no. out her performance. That is she a does kind ball. of. This doesn't really make sense. Okay. Really? Because he just explained to her what a painting is. She saw a painting. She knows that's not Smell. a painting. Yes. Show me right? more, Father. I mean, it's really Second funny. Officer, yeah. Says, Show me more, Father. This is an amazing <laughs> Show me more. She has some funny. She spits funny. out the... Lala this is, is great. Progressing very slowly, she has some funny moments when backs. she's like, this is the, my favorite thing. Yay. I know nothing about <laughs> and his reaction. Ah, oh, crap! And she gets hit in the face of a ball. Yeah, this is a classic comedy. Oh, long hair, Wesley. <laughs> She's God, so slow. It's really growing so they, <laughs> she gets thrown a ball and then it hits her, and then she lifts her arm way too late. Translating her vast data banks into recognizable applications may improve with additional transfers. She is also learning to supplement her innate android behavior with simulated human responses. Yeah, blink occasionally. That's what I tell my cat. <laughs> I'm like, you should blink when occasionally. When I finally have a and son, and I do want a son, <laughs> I'm going to tell him to blink occasionally. I think that's I a good good mothering. Almost as though is that I'm Data's real hair? Again. Is yeah. like the actor's real hair? Brent Spiner. Yeah, well, uh, what's he doing other than this? He's been in some movies. He hides and goes Here home. and there. What's his name? Brent Spiner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brent. What's his goddamn motherfucking <laughs> name? Brent Spiner, bro? Um... Yeah, it's Brent Spiner. The transfer itself oh, is fairly simple. he's blonde? Each neural pathway. Well, he's got gray hair oh, now. He's, he's old. He's old now. I love him. Let him age. Uh, so things are going great, and Starfleet hears about the new android, and they freak out. So just as Picard per predicted. And so they're like, we got to go check out this new android of yours and make sure that it's uh, that's being studied enough. So uh, Wesley's like, do you consider sending her to school? And then she, she is only she's like, he could learn from people her age. Okay, close to her own age. Doctor Crusher to end some and he does consider this. Aren't you supposed to be getting a haircut, Wesley? So stupid. Isn't that an announcement you need to I'm make? I'm on my way. Yikes. Nice. Haircut is code for what now? Do you think they're all Nothing wearing personal. a thong? Because uh, yeah. none of them have back pockets. They're wearing commandos that That's a really good point. department gave them. For sure, they're wearing... A space thong? I bet they're wearing a... The third cross -lane <laughs> they're wearing. Yeah. They call them space thongs, but they're just thongs. Father, yeah. what is my purpose? I love this. Purpose? Because... My function. My it's reason like for being. Year old. Well, at some point, I, I started asking these questions, question, and I think Mark. I remember, because I feel like that's when a human actually comes online. <laughs> when they I finally are, like, human. I begin to answer by telling you that... Our function. When do you think you started to contribute uh, in a positive way to the asking world in those which questions? We live. This is You're, an interesting. You, why am I me? About why am I me? Why am I here? What's going on? Uh, this <laughs> why last am year, I here? right? A few months ago, <laughs> it was you. definitely March. Kind of, yeah. For me, was it hard? No. I had a tough year, a tough month <laughs> for my career, and thought, "What the hell am I doing?" <laughs> Not why are you in LA, but like on Earth. No, no, on Earth. Like, yeah, why well, are I'm you? On, I know why now. I'm I? on Earth to be a star, and yeah. that's why yeah. I'm in LA. Yeah, yeah, a big star. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you're listening, hire Wit, uh, yeah. but not if you work at Home Depot. Um, so who is hiring? Just who no, should like hire TV, people are, who make a movie? Hey, TV, are Do you, you hiring? <laughs> yeah, hey, television. Do your people back home ever go like? Or people that aren't in this industry ever go like, why weren't you in that movie? You know, uh, it's like the, the worst thing in the world. Oh yeah, and yeah. you're like, yeah, my family. Oh, just I should have tried. I should have stopped shit. asking what, like about SNL, which is I think every parent does. It's like just try to get on SNL. My dad hates like uh, my dad hates Chris Hardwick, <laughs> so he's constantly like, why the hell are they getting that? What the hell that? That little fucker is what he always calls him. <laughs> Giving that guy these shots over and he did that thing. Chris Hardwick just produces like, this episode. Let him but, uh, be done. Just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. Chris Hardwick owns Forever Dog. No, what age do you no. think you started asking? Fuck no. You started asking like, why am I here? Um, probably like four or five. I was. Uh, I want to say you're advanced, but I don't really know. No, I think that's around the age. Is yeah, it? you could start to get freaked out about mortality at a certain age, and that's. Oh yeah. And then I was like, gotta drink. I started yeah, I I was like, <laughs> at five. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get a shot. Take a shot. Shot, 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 shot. Yeah, that's Alice yeah, that's and me. <laughs> five that years old. Let's fucking race. 
age. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I think that is the, the age, right? Uh, yeah, between five and eight, I think, is where you start to go, oh, no, everyone I know will die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't worried about mortality as much as like, but w- can I go back? Like, I didn't choose this. So, uh. now, so now what? Because once you're alive, you're like, ah, eventually I got to pr- feed myself. And right. like, dude, yeah. it's so much work. Uh, Prakriti's mom, the woman I was talking about, uh, is always like, oh, living is so much. It's too much. It's like too much effort. It's too much work. I feel that. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way. But at some point when you're a kid, you're like, I don't know. It's just such a, I really like that moment. I feel like. I like that she. I wish we had a better guide to, for children when they finally. Data go, says. What? Data says on this, in this conversation, our purpose is to contribute in a positive way to the world in which we live. So that's an interesting thing that we haven't heard come from Data's mouth before. Yeah, he's got to say that because he can't fuck. (laughs) He can. Actually, he can. Oh. He's programmed. You are wrong about that. In multiple techniques. Multiple techniques. And has had sex episode two. He's programmed in techniques of fuck. Yes. Yep. What the he hell? Is he also is a fully two functional male. Of season one, they established episode that two, Data fucks. Two, he fucks a crew They member. didn't wait until seri- mid-season. Another series regular. They were like, boom. Re- people are going to want to know. He's got a penis. It gets hard. It, get, it goes in. And, it does, and he has it does all the a way. Things. Yep. And he knows he's programmed. He knows yes. how. He's aware. He says, I am programmed in multiple techniques. Of fuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. It's pretty intimidating. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I I got scared. That's why he's a I fucking dream Mm-hmm. Yeah, I he's a, yeah, and he has like a, the. Um, I don't know. I want to say like a large penis, but I don't know. He's probably got whatever they need. It can probably extend however they need. No, because his other parts don't change. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is why we're talking about. Listen, I might have given be this an android baby. I might have given this an inordinate amount of thought. I want to say he has a, an okay size technique uh, penis. You like an average? Yeah. Well, That's don't perfect. you think Doctor Soon would have given him an above average penis? But why? Because I mean, Soon, like an know? average is. Noon and Sung, also played by Brent Spiner, <laughs> is like this, yeah. you know, crazy mad the, scientist guy. That, he seems like he's somebody from Lord of the Rings uh-huh. that would just totally give his son a big dick. What does he look like? Is he got a funny... He looks just like Brent Spiner with no makeup on. Oh. But with long flowing hair. Gotcha. Which is, I think, Brent Spiner's secret preference. And like little, a little crazy. <clears throat> so she asks so many questions that Data turns her off. Instead of someone else. Because you are my child. Where did I come from? We all wonder. She is doing that These robot walk. See These that this entire this walk is, a, is like a choice. A it's so crazy. Yeah, the like there's no even like a need for her to go. But she still has that big ass. <laughs> On logic, <laughs> How do they transfer the ass from an actor that's to an like, I Okay, I was watching this, trying to see law. if they oh. kept the giant Just butt. Just as Data so did a transfer so of you, his neuro- neuronic network this. to Lal, the previous actor did a transfer, an of ass transfer. <laughs> she also walks Why like that. Three or four? I'm sure she was this like annoying black? person in school. Why do? Uh oh. Ah. Babysitting time. Screen time. Tomorrow will be your first day of school. If you could just do that to the babies. Yeah. When we're like, you kind of, it's actually a little too easy. One of them is like (laughs) clinging to my friend's tit and the other one's crying. And then this one's like crying and then this one's clinging to a tit. (laughs) It is, it is. Shut them down. Impossible. It's just hard to turn them back on again. Yeah. So do you want, um, so he talks to, Picard talks to the, and let me know if you have any notes on any of these scenes. I got a big note on. Number one, it's weird now watching seeing Starfleet spelled out is not. That's just it looks odd to me. <laughs> I only have seen everything spelled out. Yeah, because I read captions. I assure you, Admiral, there is that's no smart. better guide into this life. What's the second language thing? Where I'm like, what? Job. We all have enormous admiration <laughs> for what Commander Data has already achieved. Well, okay, I love his little straight mouth. And personnel here at Gallup Four. Right. Not for kissing, but just as a as is, a mouth. He don't got a top lip. Mm. Um, <laughs> so the, you haven't seen his outfit yet, uh, the Admiral's, <laughs> no. but I do not care for it. Is it uh, gray? No, it's uh, the same color but as uh, Patrick. Yeah, uh, it's a red shirt, okay. and it's With got golden, gold, a gold. It's a lot of gold. V- I don't like that. Borders. No, it doesn't fit to me. I don't, mm. I don't like how it looks. I also love how <sighs> this the uh, the arc for this character and his arguments and everything that happens is 
um, I don't know. I find that nice because what yeah. they're doing here right now is so wrong. But it's kind of one of the points. Like if a sentient being is an android, like they already had a, a trial mm-hmm. to see if data yeah. was something that they could just study. Or if he was a sentient being and they had to ask him for permission. Right. And then they determined that he was alive and that he could not, they could not just analyze yeah. him. And they established him. him as a sort of like having rights, the same rights as another species, you know, humanoid or whatever. And then not only are they bringing up what parenting is, gender, what gender is, like what does it mean to bring a life to the world, but also whether data has the rights over his creation and whether they consider it procreation. Uh, yeah, I love the fi- his final moment. His it's little really twist. Nice. Yeah, right? If or, he wasn't wearing yeah. that stupid outfit, I probably would have yeah. wept. <laughs> you said you did weep. I wept at a different You really point. have a problem yeah. with the look of the show. Like, it's well, you're a very visual person. I just don't... That's what... I, sorry, go I'm ahead. worried about you having a podcast that's you realize it's not a visual medium right <laughs> you, i am that person i'm like look uh, at this moment and it's just no, silence uh, hey i'm very well aware sometimes that i've thought a little bit too much about what i want the lighting at my show <laughs> to look like and not what the material is that i'm doing <laughs> i mean you know it, it's i'm i feel the same way i'm a visual person and so I have that same attachment to like i don't understand people not thinking visually yeah but Neither does Veronica, so too bad Wasn't for our listeners <laughs> who don't feel that way. There's, there's a guest we had on the show who can't see Randy visuals. Randy Posey. Yeah, she can't see, uh, she can't think in images. Oh. She has no image memory. So, like, she can't remember a face or something like that. It's the most baffling I can't thing what it is. in the now world Now I feel like I'm me. being hyperbolic because that doesn't seem right. Because <laughs> she, she can't, definitely recognizes people. She has no visual... Uh, like she can't picture something Abstract in her memory when it's not there. Yeah. Thoughts wow. that are visual. I didn't know this. That's interesting. Uh, I didn't either, and I was very, I think, uh, probably <laughs> harassed her about this because I only think visually. Same. Always. And I so think it was of, so confusing. Ah, uh, yes, the outfit that they yeah. were wearing that yes. day. Yes. Uh, Wade is very fashionable, you guys. Yeah, it looks, that's nice. You don't he understand. Looks, he's wearing a, like he thinks about. He's wearing this, this really cool kind of like he's wearing those kind of goggles from Mad Max, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got this cool dyed red hair, <laughs> and he's got like this leather sort of vest on, no shirt, obvious, and um, a bondage belt, a bondage. Think is that what you call that? Yeah, yeah with some he's faux the one bullets who knows in it, or are they real bullets? They're real. I've real used, bullets, used amazing. Them all. Obviously, some um, platform cowboy boots with spurs. So he's just like I'm a cool sp- dude. I'm sitting here spinning my spurs, <laughs> actually. If you... Oh my god, do your goggles have little tiny wind bra- windshield wipers mm-hmm. on them? Yeah, they do. So cool. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's a cool. I'm going to Josh's fashionable. tree after this, which is like the cooler <laughs> version of Joshua tree. It's like with yeah. a younger. Oh, even younger. Yeah, it's Josh's tree. <laughs> what are they, teenagers? Uh, yeah, it's me and my teen friends. I buy him beer and they let me hang out. I'm so intimidated by teens when I see them out in the world. Me too. They're just... They're so cool. Especially this new teen of like really smart, uh, kind of not like kind of woke teen is like, uh uh-oh. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) We're fucked. Yikes. I can't be... My brain can't be getting to where yours is at the same time as you. I know. (laughs) I'm supposed to be smarter, but you're... Yeah. Yeah, they've got us. They got us. Yeah, yeah, fully. It's because they get, have to live in fear of being shot every moment. It's true. That's they also haven't it. started drinking, so. Oh, yes, they have, though, probably, yeah. right? They're dabbing. Depends on where they are. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking dabbing. They're doing if they're from my propofol country, and... <laughs> and... They've been drinking. <laughs> they're just microdosing psilocybin to get through life. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, they're <sighs> also, cool they're, teens. they're next, keeping track. Oh, next week, our guests will be a bunch of cool teens. They're keeping track <laughs> so of, funny. like, we would how much it microdose and, like, the effects it has in their... Uh, productivity. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's how I feel they are. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, okay. So this is like school teacher who this has so a, sad. a strange. That would seem to be reasonable. Uh, hair It isn't working out that way. So she just said that she put law with the younger kids in the school, and Data's like she did a layer somewhere. of little braids and, and now straight hair under. Does any you know everybody looks great in these uh, outfits except for one guy that we're not. I'll get to the admiral. Father. Well, also, yeah. why is she wearing a peasant? This is amazing. I love this scene. This is why law rules. It is a human physiological response to humor. Then judging from their laughter, the children at school found my remarks humorous. So without understanding humor, 
I have somehow mastered it. <laughs> Profile. She's so proud. Deck 15. So proud. That's rad. That's how I feel at the end of every I like <laughs> <laughs> At the end of every show. <laughs> that's, yes, what, that's your own take on the your own comedy. The children were not yeah. laughing with you. They were laughing at you. Uh, Ouch. Explain. One is meant no kindly. The other Vaseline. is not. Vaseline. Yeah. It's just <laughs> no Vaseline. straight up. Why would they wish to be unkind? Because you are different. Differences sometimes scare people. I love this. I have learned that some of them use humor to hide their fear. Damn. I do not wish to be different. Oh, done with a conversation. That's when uh, I hate when people do Doctor. That. When people like uh, you tell them something that makes them uncomfortable and they go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, my country's falling apart. And people go. Yeah. What, what would you rather have them do? Uh, I I'll, mean, like, what do you mean? Want me to say what I would say? Yeah. That's ah, crap. I'm sorry. <laughs> he would say that. Absolutely. <laughs> Easy. That's an absolute. That's no good. Easy. Yikes. Easy. But some people just go quiet. I I every time I do something that's morally incorrect or makes people very uncomfortable. Yeah. They go. <laughs> Their reaction is just silent, looking away. Well, mm. what are you that saying? Happen? Very, uh, what 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 types of things? Like, do you just walk up to somebody and punch them? And then I feel like no, it's really like, shouldn't um, be the onus shouldn't be on them to have a work the reaction. The main that's two, <laughs> no, I don't punch them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm punching them. The main no. two things were uh, when I talk about my country falling apart, yep. where people go. If I go real dark, they they do that where they go sure sure sure. Or if I talk about how I fell in love with someone who's married, okay, they're they're like. I would want to know more about both. Right? Mm -hmm. It's weird. But I think that this is a normal reaction I've How encountered only in America. Tell me one of them. Okay. Um, yeah, so people are, like, middle class people are taking out food from trash cans because there's nothing in the supermarket. So <laughs> Seems like the kind of thing that would make me fall in love with somebody's married. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, you I just to talk about the other one? There you go. <laughs> All right. I'm locked and loaded. I'm ready to go. I I'm love versing with you. You're A like, plus. Yeah, really good. Well, what about this? Uh -huh. uh, you tell me. <laughs> um, yeah, well, he's married and and I'm single, but we fell in love. And Have you seen Shock a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same for the other one, too? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me go. Um, yeah, so... There's not enough hospital beds in my country, so mm. people are just lying on the floor, and a lot of mm. them, that's where they die, you know? Yeah. I, have you seen Chocolat? <laughs> <laughs> I would appreciate wow, that. that's useful. <laughs> I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I, I didn't realize how useful that I was. really feel heard. And then in the and the second thing you have to say is like uh, I haven't. I well, <laughs> Yeah, I haven't. You know what I, I have seen, and then you go... Uh, the way. Dark Knight, seven million <laughs> times. <laughs> you go your own way. That Ooh. tunnel is around here. It's right, right nearby. That's we'll do good. auditions for him, I think. Okay, maybe. And then for Lal. For Lal? Lal. Uh, if you had to audition for one of the parts in this show, who would you want to audition? Oh, oof. Well, I mean, okay, this is the one episode I've seen. Yeah, yeah. So clearly, so, I mean, Data's having a lot of fun here. You want to do Data. All right, Data it is. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll watch a little more so we get a good scene. I require scene. your advice. I love that. As a successful parent. Projection of the <laughs> medical logo. Well, thank also, you, Also, she has a weird wig. Yeah. I'd like to think I was. Is that a wig? Yeah, they're well, extensions. Please sit down. It's too lustrous. No, she has like two levels of hair and you can see the real one underneath and then How's the loud? longer one. Hair levels. Lal is realizing levels. she is not levels. the same as other children. So I love how they, how she's like, I don't want to be different, her? and they talk about not feel the how diversity of works, basically. Yeah. But mm -hmm. she can observe how isolated she is from the others. She wishes to be more like them. I do not know how to help her. Lal is passing into sentience. It is perhaps the most difficult stage of her development. Do you think they they were thinking when they had this elevator conversation in the? Turbo left and mm -hmm. right now, do you think they were thinking about like black people or like differently able people, or, or you think they were thinking more about like dorks <laughs> or like pubescents? I feel like they're probably thinking bigger than that, right? Bigger than dorks? Yeah. 
Um, uh, I think with this like show, what knowing what the people show in America is, wishes they, yeah, they could live. Because they've already addressed problems of like the differences of being an immigrant in a new country. And so I, I actually think they would be thinking about big picture differences, like all sorts of diversity. And this is also something, it's the last note I wrote, but they tried to touch on this in Solo, that new Star Wars movie. I yeah, I watched it. But they didn't do a very good job. No. This is a really good when, job. When, where? Yeah. It's like a small part of that movie is uh, is his robot wanting rights, like uh, wanting oh, that to was be accepted. very bad. Yeah, that was very bad. It felt really it was odd like, and forced. I would say probably ham fisted is the term. I yeah. would like it was like whoa, they somebody didn't... wanted this to be a part of it, and somebody yeah. else didn't, and yeah. that person <laughs> won. It was like it I was... like the attempt. I mean, I love Brienne of Tarth, but, but it was very, it was the, it was weird. Yeah, it, it, it was weird in this movie. Well, it, it was it was handled so poorly that, and it was played played for comedy in such a way that it made it seem like anyone in the position of fighting for the rights of their kind or whatever is it, it was just really trivializing, and it made it seem like they're being. You know, overly dramatic, and that the and and the they took it the, seriously, and it kind of surprised you. But when they followed it through, her pers- her pursuing rights for robots led to the destruction of one of their missions. So it just ended up in chaos. So like, see what these activists do is seeming. That's the message I took away from. Oh, you. I see. I you see know? what you mean. They just yeah. put, they just put the cart before the horse. No, you think they did it poorly, or I mean, I think it's a it's a good. I think it's worth an entire movie for Star Wars. You exactly. got all these cool droids, yeah. and it'd be cool to see them I, going through yeah. something. But I think for a five altogether, it was probably it's five minutes of a movie. Yeah. It's not worth it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. It's not. It's too big to bring up in such a way. Yeah, mm-hmm. too. Big but of- I did like that. It, I felt there was a. A little bit of a flirty joke, and I was like, "Haha, classic Star Wars, just like a little, a little joke." And then it ended up being very real, and I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> okay." I was right. also made uncomfortable. Which it surprised me. I don't know. I, I, like, I was uncomfortable that. when they went into the thing about how sh- she thought that Donald Glover's character was into her, and it was like, "Oh, hilarious!" And I was like. I anytime these future movies go into like what types of people can date who, who can be a parent of who, like what families look like and what they're supposed to be like. It's like stop making like stop making that the central premise of your joke because it doesn't make any sense that in the future anyone is going to be abiding by those rules when, you know, that movie Her had it really right where it's like hey, this is a possibility, you know, like why wouldn't Donald Glover's character have like have a crush on his robot? I I have you know you are sexually attracted to your cat. You know there's like no way to like to I have, limit. people are currently fucking robots. People are right now this moment fucking robots in this room in Japan, and I'd like it to stop. And Brett, Brett we're talking again. to you, and you, you gotta fucking yes. I had a girlfriend in high school who um. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I love oh. it. She, when we were in high school, she was not, um, you know, clearly she was a, she was like not sexually experienced. Neither was I. But I do remember one time I tried to have sex with her from behind, mm-hmm. and she told me that that could kill her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, did uh, you believe it? I was like, oh god, I've seen people do it in porn. I didn't know. Um, so <laughs> anyway, so then, uh, so about. <laughs> However long later, I must have been like 20. I was in my mid-20s. I was doing a stand-up show in um, Alabama, and she came to my show. And she, um, I didn't meet, I didn't see her there, but she sent me a message on Facebook that said, Hey, I just want to let you know that I went to your show and thought it was great. And um, I I have been following everything you've been doing in um, L.A. And... Um, it was it's very inspiring and I always knew that you'd like move away and do something and uh, anyway I, I just want to let you know that I'm um, I've been inspired to kind of follow my own dreams and um, thank you so much or whatever and then she left a link to her website and it was her doing bondage porn <laughs> <laughs> and getting fucked by a machine <gasps> some machine like with a dick that went <gasps> in the pussy or in yeah. the oh so at least yeah. you didn't die oh in the butt yeah I mean yeah. I wasn't trying to fuck her in the butt. No, I know. You were trying to just go the other direction. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then she was like, it'll she kill said me. I could kill her. I yeah. really okay. And then she just kept, she kept going down that line. She kept exploring what that could I mean. Created I created taboo for something that typically there's no taboo. Yeah, for. it's just like a regular Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I love your love story. I kind of like the idea that in, it's not that like anyone can die from that. It's like that she's a, a mutant. Right. You know, and it's like Dr. Xavier told me that this could kill me. So Dr. Yeah. Like, Soyberg, more like. Maybe Dr. Xavier has a crush on you. Yeah. You're like, stop <laughs> suggesting that. <laughs> He's my teacher. That's inappropriate. <laughs> Man. Why would he tell you? Did you believe you? it or were you, <laughs> were you like... No, I, right. I think I believed it, and I don't think I ever did it until I was 20. And then you were like, I'm taking lives. I think I came in like <laughs> two I'm, seconds. I'm and then, taking <laughs> lives tonight, baby. Yeah. I was like, hold up. What do you want me to do? Won't you die? <laughs> <laughs> and like more, that Morrissey song is playing, like, and if a ten palm trough. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's do it. <laughs> 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 oh, all right but that was a romantic parenting. time for you oh, yeah, yeah. Um, when, wow i don't know if anyone has said oh a man was up <sighs> he was an extraordinarily <laughs> bright boy <laughs> but he had a hard time making friends mm -mm. i think the other children were a little intimidated by him you wish that is precisely what happened to lala in school how did you help him parents of nerds well People were really intimidated. First, I went back to my own childhood. Right. No. Constantly I mean, nobody dunking on him. It was nobody was ever, I was never intimidated by this. Mark. <laughs> I remember a time when I wasn't very popular either. People were really intimidated by me. I was intimidated I by Braxton, the kid who got better. held back. He knew I understood what he was going through. Uh, I have not told Mal how uh, difficult it was for me to assimilate. Shoved I me did not a wish space to locker. discourage her. <laughs> That was an it was difficult judgment. for me to assimilate. You but also, have I have a giant dick. To help you through People sentience. want to fuck. <laughs> she at least has you. I don't know how he hasn't fucked every female in the ship just to... Just help her realize she's check not it alive. There should be a line I, around, I the, around 10 forward. I love this piece of parenting advice. She needs love and attention. Um, I can give her I attention, know. doctor. But I am incapable of giving her love. And then he just gets up. Bye. That's my outro. Now, why do I find that so hard to believe? I like, I wish she was like, what? <laughs> what you just left. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the next image right after that is <laughs> hot, hot <laughs> chest hair. <laughs> Finally, you guys, season three, episode Deep. 16. What you want to do is just Deep. go ahead and go 22 minutes in and you'll get some of that sweet, sweet Picard 21, 29. Deep V pajamas. Is, is we love T. Two. Not we 22. love deep. Well, we don't know actually because you know how this is super inaccurate. It's we'll Netflix. Click it. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, those DV pajamas that we love so much. Captain. We won't be able to tell. We won't be Starfleet able to tell. How much do you think Worf got Admiral paid just to come in for the he's day? A, yeah. He's a serious regular. Well, he's a serious regular, so he's in this up. So and then he gets paid for the. Episode. They all have oh. at least one. Like, oh my god, look at how hot he is. Captain Picard. Ugh. I hope I didn't disturb you. Not at all. It's sometimes I have it's just my concerns asleep. With Starfleet Command. My concerns is that you weren't wearing your deep V, and I want to check. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Bye. It's insane that he's not doing a voice. Who Picard? Picard. What do you mean? Like, that's, that's his voice. His, just his voice. It's funny. Well, I think, but if you're gonna be like the captain of a ship, and you're, the whole show is based on you, you're gonna constantly like. Would you want to do like seven seasons, twenty five episodes each with, with a voice? No, I just that can't believe that's his real voice. All he's saying is, it's his voice is great and it's unbelievable. Yeah, my apologies. <laughs> I think it's great. You're right to be have that tone with me for sure. All he's trying to say <laughs> is that that's his voice and it's really. Amazing! I ask forgiveness. I love him. Um, I love him too. Not at all. So not at all. Not at all. Beverly, 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 come, come, come. All right. Number one. You are to hold your position until I join you. Like standing here. And I shall personally review the android's development. Why are you out of breath? Understood. Understood. I should advise you, Captain, that if I'm not satisfied with what I see, I am empowered to take the android back with me. Gross. Half tail out. Oh my god. I really want to say Osorio out. 
after every phone call. <laughs> I'm gonna after call every FaceTime with my family and be like, "Oh, sorry, we are holding position good. pending the arrival rude. of Admiral Haftel." How, how do you think search. about how do you feel about FaceTiming? Because I like to FaceTime everyone all the time, and I think everyone finds it so invasive. I don't like it, but I'm also Venezuelan, so I think that's how like it's, yeah. Uh, some people. So you love just it, FaceTime people. My family just FaceTimes me, and you just FaceTime other people, right? Not Americans, because I'm afraid. Not Americans. <laughs> I'm afraid of their reactions, but yeah. I don't like it if and if I'm if I'm seeing somebody and they want to FaceTime, I don't like it. It makes me sad. Why? If I miss them, if if I haven't seen yeah. them in a long time, you know what? I There's like little... want to, them to be. Do you want to smell them? Yeah. I don't. Oh. I there is I, some ways about smell. <laughs> I want to sniff them. There is a bit of um, like, uh, yeah, you just, you. it's exciting at first and you're like, oh, and then you're like, oh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, there's that moment of like, well, this is, yeah. That's why I keep it total sexed. Right. <laughs> just Pure sexed. Pure sexed. The whole time. I'm crazy about S- FaceTiming. If I could faxed. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming, it's like oh, so give slow. Me the, give me the so message. slow. You gotta wait for that tone every single time, and just to be like, <laughs> you just like fax you your up. butt. <laughs> oh man, that uh, uh, that used to happen. That used to people would happen. fax their smushed butt onto the <laughs> ah. Those are the days. I wish I was alive in the nineties. <laughs> 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 I mean, sexting in the 90s. You keep doing this thing where you'll play it and then you'll start a new conversation that has nothing to do with the scene over the scene. And it reminds me of yeah. my friend Sarah yeah. has like, my friend Sarah and Cliff are like notoriously like loud. They just talk constantly and they're so loud when they talk and they'll drink a lot and, and they'll like, we'll go have movie night and they'll come over and they'll be like, the movie will start and they'll be like, everybody's, my, this is how my friend Sarah literally sounds. Okay, everybody goes to now. And the movie starts, and she's like, "So how have you been?" Oh, like in it. the middle of the <laughs> beginning no. of the movie. Look at the spike. The the I know that's the me peaks, doing my Sarah. The peaks in the I love the it though. In I the, got a friend named C.J. Toledano, and if you turn a movie on, Google especially him. if it's something you were in or uh-huh. made, he will go. He has his, his attention spans awful. He has terrible taste, so he'll go, uh, "Oh, wow." <laughs> how much do you think that location cost? <laughs> oh, wow. How long did it take to put you in that wig? Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> do you think he's still acting or do you think he stopped? I haven't seen him in a long time. And then it's over. He's asked all, he's asked a question about everything he's seen, but has never, he never actually it's watched like a good anything. DVD extra of like yeah. somebody asking questions. Yep. Or just for him answering the questions. That's what DVD commentary, uh, director's commentary. He has to watch director's commentary. Yeah, he, he yeah. can't watch any other way. Um, Lal, which I have learned in the language Hindi, means beloved. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So this is a great scene because Guinan rolls. And yeah. and all the all of a sudden, Guinan. Whoopi Goldberg, what the hell? Yeah, she's a guest star. Recurring. How? I know. She's like supreme well, movie star the splendor at this of the time. late 80s. I, I know, but this is a normal. supreme TV show. I am fine, thank you. Do you that, think it's she like, was just like a big fan Garnet. and wanted to do it's it? It's like when Brad Pitt was on behavior. Friends. It was after this like, was the right, Friends. I think her, her like she is willing to provide Academy to Award you. nomination. Father so she was a pretty big star at the time. It's just crazy. But she's of the best characters in this. She's also a guest star. The most important part about working someplace like this is the art of listening. I have some expertise, so I shall teach you. I love her. That would be most beneficial. I've been programmed with a listing of 1,412 known beverages. What did you say? I've been programmed with a listing of 1,400... See, she normalizes. You have used a verbal contraction. You said I've instead of I have. It is a skill my program has never mastered. I mastered that like two years after I got to the States. Mm. You've exceeded my abilities. It's very nice. I do not like object, a writing a game changer. Yeah. I do not understand how this is occurring. Saved a lot of time. I can't come time. out data. Please report to my ready room. Aye, sir. Like writing, I would always be like, I do not. And then mm-hmm. I was like, I don't. <laughs> Evolved. Efficiently. Oh, that look back. Daddy. I want my, my so doors to be like that. H- house to be like. Yeah. First, that logo. And second, for them to just slide open. Yeah. Between rooms. Oh, that that be, technology exists. Imagine the amount of energy it would Beyonce. take, though. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, but I bet she has that. Everything slides open constantly. Her house. She is don't just touch a door. Over, yeah. It's hard for me to imagine her like turning a sink on. I could see it. Michael Jackson. I can't imagine him like taking a shower. No, that I can't remember like, either. Tying or shoes. Or like locking a door. Like, yeah. yeah. Like a, closing a normal door. Can't imagine him doing anything like no, that. No, I can't imagine that either. I feel like I could totally imagine Beyonce doing this thing. So, and she does it with perfect grace. Mm-hmm. I imagine that uh, she has a, oh, a person sized round platform elevator. <laughs> yeah, to just lift one her to person any room. size. Yeah. <laughs> she only comes to rooms from below, like lifted. Or like she has a Beyonce pneumatic tube. Where she's like, what is that? it's like the bay tube. <laughs> What's a bay she's like, tube? I'll bay right there, that? and it's like, thump. And she oh, just yeah. ends up. She's like, thank you so she's much. Like to a bank. Uh, thank you too. Deposit. <laughs> a car bank deposit. <laughs> yeah. A drive through. <laughs> okay. She said drive through money. I love her. I love her too. We dated actually. Oh really? When? <laughs> yeah, I was, we were where? T- teens mm, in Texas. Yeah. You didn't grow up in Texas. We dated for so. fourteen years. No, nope. and <laughs> she's my ex. But I. Oh, you were that her. boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, interesting. You were that I boyfriend that was thought in a you crash. grew up in Alabama and she grew up in Texas. So. You know that? Mm. Do you read about her ex-boyfriend? Long distance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you met uh, a no, camp. She wrote Survivor about me because I'm a survivor. Nope. Yeah. For sure not. The that. only moment Riker is in this episode is when he gets a smooch from Data's daughter. Okay. This oh, is yeah. This the is the best. one guy who doesn't look good in the in its suit. Oh my god! This is an incredible revelation. Wit doesn't think Riker looks good. <laughs> Wait, I'm I'm not totally sure who's Riker. Well, Riker is one of the main characters. Wit's out in himself. This episode with as a non-believer yeah. Yeah, yeah. of the Riker nation. He don't look good in the suit. Sorry, buddy. Cut out the silence. Riker is about to enter the scene. <laughs> He's trying to slam. Here we go. Wow, it really goes well. You see? What are they doing? It's called flirting. They seem to be communicating telepathically. They're both thinking the same thing, if that's what you mean. What is fuck? This is great. I love this part so Skyman. much. Is the joining of hands a symbolic act for humans? It shows affection. Humans like to touch each other. They start with the hands and go from there. Hmm. I do it with Ted Danson. <laughs> He's biting that female. <laughs> I no, love this. biting her. They're pressing lips. It's called kissing. <laughs> I love that. He's biting that female. I'm going to say that all the time. Why are they leaving? Hashtag me too. Lal, well, there are some things your father's just going to have to explain to you when he thinks you're ready. Don't Steve, have look Data at the explain sex to her. That's a that's a bad move. It's a perfect outfit. Perfect. <gasps> Rika. You're new around here, aren't you? Yes. Hitting on her immediately. Lal! I love Lal. that he still perks up, you know? Put him down. Puckers. Commander. Up. What are your intentions toward my daughter? Your daughter? No one debriefed him with a little weird video? Nice to meet you. So Riker's been away this whole time just for this joke. That's a cool one so that, day. <laughs> so cool. Couple hours. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Get paid get for a full and episode. And so from Riker's point of view, he has just met this new girl who's yeah. working at the... And he's like, great, love a new girl on the ship. And then she hits on him, immediately kisses him. And he's like, what the fuck? And then... Two seconds later, Data walks in and is like, I have a daughter and that's my daughter. <laughs> His mind is so blown. He's like, he's he's doing one of those, yeah. I got to go back to sleep uh, moments. Uh, you know? I'm going to take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my cue. Um, I like, uh, God, there's a lot of he this He doesn't episode, say anything to Data. He's like, your daughter, which is the most baffling thing anyone could have ever heard. And then he just leaves. Such a, I love those like tacky moments in Star Trek. I love them because they just make no sense and yeah. they still go for, for them because they're like, all right, we can either go all the way with this or just leave a terrible joke. So, in there. which of these admiral scenes do we want? What it still has to do is audition. Let's do that now. Do you, any of the scenes that we've played already or any of the scenes strike you as your, you'd like to, a meaty scene for you to audition? Um, I'll do any of them. No, make a choice. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> uh, who am I again? I'm Data. Dad. Data. I always want to call him Data. Uh, Data. I I think I'll go ahead and do uh, 
his meeting with Picard, that where they're sitting in the chairs. Okay. Okay. So Hold what am I doing? You're going to read for, I'm going to read for Picard and you're going to read for Data. Oh, because it's on the screen. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to this audition room. Uh, <laughs> welcome to this audition room casting. Hi, Thanks. welcome to this audition room casting. Uh, we're going to be auditioning you for the role of Data. Uh, Alice here is going to read with you. I'm going to read for Picard. So yeah, she's going to read. Is it cool if I you, sit? You do you mind? Just, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. on the chair. Do you whatever slate? you need to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, can you slate? And then um, we have your headshots. <laughs> And uh, do yeah, you sorry about every audition head. do you go to? Do they always say we have your headshots? We have your headshots right here, and they show me my own face. Like sorry, this. I don't know why I was yeah, wearing that denim jacket. Here, and oh, okay. All your resumes that you sent. Thank you so much. I don't know how y'all have that picture. <laughs> well, uh, we did scoop around the internet, so uh, yeah. So data's an Android. Oh uh, yeah. I'll okay. Any other with questions? Camera? I, I need to slate. You said. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Uh, my, our my first day. Oh, wait one second. We'll tell you. Okay. Well. Okay, my name's Whitmer Thomas. I'm 6'6", six, six, and I'm 18 years old. <laughs> and I'm repped by Brillstein International. Okay. Okay. Entertainment. Uh, okay, uh, ready? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Click. What have you done? We'll have serious ramifications. I'm truly dismayed that you told no one of what you were doing. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain. I did not anticipate your objections. Do you wish me to deactivate Lal? It's a life data. It can't be activated and deactivated simply. This is the most stupendous undertaking. Have you any idea what will happen when Starfleet learns about this? I have followed all of Starfleet's <laughs> stuff. To, I expected they would be pleased. Okay, do you want to start over? <laughs> Yeah, can we just go back just to that line? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, actually, sorry. I have a note for uh, Alice. <laughs> you, oh, go ahead. The other reader. Uh, uh, yeah, just try to read the page. Okay. Excuse me? <laughs> read the page. <laughs> sorry. Okay. So this is not... <clears throat> it's it's queuing up. It's queuing up. Okay, here we go. All right. Ready? Take two. You don't need to slate again. Just. Uh, my name is Whitmer Thomas. I'm 14 years old and I'm 100 what? pounds. What? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what you're doing... Okay, ready? What you're doing will have serious ramifications, okay? Uh, <laughs> I am truly dismayed that you told no one of what you were doing. I'm sorry, Captain. I did not anticipate your objections. Do you wish me to deactivate Lyle? It's a life, Data. It can't be deactivated and deactivated simply. <laughs> this is the most stupendous undertaking. Good job. Have you any idea what will happen when Starfleet learns about this? I have followed all of Starfleet's regulations to my best of my ability. I expected they would be pleased. Sigh. Well, you've taken quite a responsibility, Data. Hmm. To, pre to prepare, I have scanned all available literature on parenting. There seems to be much confusion on this issue. And our traditional doctrine insists spare the rod and spoil the child, suggesting a punitive approach, while another, more liberal attitude would allow the child enormous freedom. And, and what Klingons do to their children... Data, I am not talking about parenting. Okay, I'm talking yikes. about the consequences <laughs> of creating a new life. Does that not describe becoming a parent, sir? You got me there. What's the deal with my Android? <laughs> Take a chill pill. <laughs> Good ad lib. Data, you are seeking to achieve <sighs> what only your own creator has been able to achieve. Ha! To make another functioning sentient android. Duh. To make another duh. Okay. This is why I must attempt this, sir. Uh, I have observed that in most species there is a primal instinct to perpetuate themselves. Until now, I have been the last of my kind. If I were to be damaged or destroyed, I would be lost forever. But if I am successful with the creation of Lal, my continuance is assured. I understand the risk, sir, and I am prepared to accept the responsibility. Chim Chim Haru. Okay. Wow. I think, uh... 
I am I very. Think we've got what we need. Cut. Wow, that I'm is... very. You want me to do it again? No, or... God, no. no. It's I a true. Um... Wouldn't want to mess with success. Okay. So cool. <laughs> well, I guess I'll. Uh, you know, thanks for seeing me, and I'm happy no, to help. No, please, anytime. Yeah. Um. Remember, I, 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 I did just turn twelve, <laughs> but I. I'm, okay, you've I've, just aged backwards. Twice. I've gotten my GED, so. Okay. And I've been emancipated. Oh, so okay. I'm good. I can. Work. Are you all right? You have a place to live. I yes. Okay. I live at my cousin's, <laughs> my cousin Chris's house. Thank you. I all oh, thanks, guys. Oh, you didn't need to come in. There was a full audience behind this curtain. Yes, this audition yeah. was taped before a live studio <laughs> audience. Oh, that's really nice. <laughs> Horrifying. Oh, crap! I just got slimed. <laughs> Why'd you guys slime me? <laughs> Next time on an audition show. <laughs> what are you going to show okay. us, Brad? I can feel you. Two no, minutes? don't mean it. Okay, That's let's crazy. wrap it up. Look at that Wrap ass. it up. <laughs> Look at that ass. Um, we got to see the last scene because okay. it is stupendous. So Lol starts getting afraid because the Admiral wants to take her out of, out of the ship, which I thought was very E.T., right? Yeah. It was like E.T. when they were like, we got to just study this motherfucker. And mm-hmm. everybody's like, he's our friend. Except worse, because it's Data's daughter. Um, and so she starts feeling fear. This and speech. Here. I don't know if this is too much. She leaves longer. that room f- in fear. I'm here. And I'll function. So she starts she be- emotional awareness. Getting emotional, emotional awareness. awareness. It appears to be a symptom of cascade failure. Or maybe she's just getting it her would period. require initialization mm-hmm. of the base matrix without wiping out the higher functions. I agree. She needs to get deep dicked by her daddy. <laughs> May I assist? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Admiral. She needs to be deep dicked by her daddy. Us, Commander Data and I oh, have daddy much deep to dick. Do. What? She does. <laughs> Where does so, that? Lal starts feeling feelings, which Data never actually. Are you running from your own emotions achieves, right now? I can tell. Which Data never actually achieves. Oh, oh, it's having feelings. He had to take it filthy. So wait. Uh, Lal feels feelings which Data never actually achieves in all of Star Trek and it's partly uh, it's part of what made me love the show Mm -hmm. is this like forever expecting Data to to feel yeah I remember that being very compelling to me like he will can I finish this one line that I'm saying and forever feeling like he's about to start feeling things and that everyone suggests that he will and it never happening it's that like Tin Man effect of like yeah. he has the biggest heart right and I think the way Brent Spiner portrays that is like one of the most compelling things about this show because it like mechanical and yeah f- and, f- and full of feeling yeah it's very it's crazy I don't know it's one of my it's favorite hard, portrayals of a hard job android ever a little robot a but, robot but we would hire you if the show wasn't already made. already made it already got it already made already oh, got sorry this can't really prank. be where can I see it next year on the audition show we have a once a year episode <laughs> darn so this is when the Admiral finally changes and realizes, wow, what Data has created is actually immensely wonderful. And he tries to save. So here, here we go. The procedure was crap. She, she um, won't wait. survive much longer. There was nothing anyone could have done. We'd repolarize one pathway and another would collapse. He's a really good actor. Uh, and then another. Another Wait, did you get a haircut? His <laughs> Looking at West. Alice, we, I cried in this part. We're moving faster than I could see, trying to stay ahead of each breakdown. Do you think they're really looking at him? He refused to <laughs> give up. <laughs> it was remarkable. I cried during this episode. Same. Yeah, this is a cry one. Wasn't meant to be. When did you cry? When, I think there. When, when it started? But you said you were you were oh you no at the end I this, think this this part I'm unable to correct yeah. the system failure when she goes through her I know you must say goodbye I don't know if I was crying at the episode or at the, how must how good it must have felt to write and make I the episode feel. That right. sometimes it's I there's like a line <laughs> really yeah That's, I love you father which funny is, is maybe psych sociopathic no it's not because I get it because it's like. It's achieved. Mm-hmm. The product, the, like, not product, but the... Like, I have a sense of pride 
for whoever made it. I yeah. will feel it for both That's of us. That's really cool of me. Look, she will feel for both of them. Thank you for my life. Papa. That made me cry. That's yeah. when I started crying. Yeah. Thank you for my life. Because we never get to see our Playing. our parents and being like, thank you for my life. Mostly yeah. I'm like, why did you do Mostly. this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why did you make me? Family. So far. Female. Crap. Human. Hume. I love that she dies in she human. She becomes Beyonce at the very last line. Hume. Papa, I think I'm no. going to. I think I need to. No. 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 I have deactivated. No. 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 <laughs> spray. Water spray. <laughs> All right. To set to to send Could us out. By your loss, Mr. Data. So, what does happen? I thank you for your sympathy, but she is here. Hmm. He's pointing to his mm -hmm. dick. Her presence so enriched my life. Wow, way to ruin one of the best episodes of Star Trek. Oblivion. I ruined so the whole episode. You guys, not with, with his daddy's just that with it, Just you with that one comment I right there. Her that one little with the, in his dick. That ruined okay. it. That did it. <laughs> that really does not know if she's on Star screen Trek. right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting me? Mr. Crusher? Crusher? Lay in a course for the star base on Otto. Ah, weird. Otto. Uh, weird. Wesley's hair looks the exact same <laughs> length. It grows so fast. Weird section. that apparently was just an excuse to call him in. Engage. She probably wasn't going to embarrass him and said something, but she was actually calling him to be like, what are all these things? Oh, so to right. take us out, <laughs> wait, I'd like you to do an, an improvised pop punk song about saying goodbye to... Lol? To uh, Lol. Is that pop punk? Oh, I guess it's. This is it was emo alternative pop punk instrumentals. This is not okay. This maybe is not gonna, pop punk. Maybe it's gonna. Break I'll make it work. In. I'm gonna try some other ones. No, that sounds good. Oh no! You know what it is? It's a classical version of a. Okay, try this again. I'll. I have something queued up. Oh yeah. There you go. What am I singing about? Saying goodbye to Law. Okay. Law was a really nice little robot. <laughs> she felt a little too much. She liked her daddy and she liked his touch. She had emotion. She knew about paintings. She would spit a drink on her shirt. And one day she got too smart. And her little heart was torn apart. So she had to be <laughs> repaired, but no matter how fast that da -da -da is, hands could move. <laughs> she had to die because they couldn't improve her. Oh, Dada Daddy, Dada Daddy could have given her a deep thing. Dada Daddy. Dada daddy could have given her a deep ticking <laughs> Mom has a big fuckable ass Okay <laughs> Oh my god, wow. what a That's delight the best. I wish you would just record an album Talking about Well, we are going to record an album, so maybe we can Dada daddy We can have that song be on, <laughs> be on it I'll always do um, like uh, little choruses If you need me right, Thanks, y'all are really You'll good You'll be there, thank you this was a very fun episode. Thank you so much. Yeah, for thank y'all for having me. Um, I'm uh, loving, love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll be premiering your episode. Oh, of oh yeah, talk about talk, talk about, about your podcast. I've got a new podcast coming out. Um, called the American Arts and Culture Review. <laughs> 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 with my pals um, and uh, you know it's about uh, well, basically we just review American arts and culture we'll talk uh -huh. about things like films like Chocolat and what they mean <laughs> sure, to sure, people sure. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be mm -hmm. discussing current cinema current uh, fine arts mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. music Movements. and uh, uh -huh. current you know, culture, whether it be pop culture, politics, whatever so it is. Culture. Um, uh, yeah, culture. Uh, uh, but mainly like stuff like, like what is chocolate about <laughs> and um, what's going on in that movie and is there chocolate in it and why? And Johnny, Johnny Depp is, I've never seen it, but uh, we're going to be talking about it. And, so tune into Shaka Pod. Uh, yeah, Shaka Pod. Well, that, that's already taken. Oh, so what's, my so, God, what's, so what's totally the name art. that you had to settle with? The American Arts and Culture Review. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. um, and A A C, A -A -C R. Yeah, and uh, if you like things like the world on NPR, <laughs> then you'll love it. 
basically. Okay. All right. And um, I think I will enjoy that. And stay cool and remember just to be yourself. <laughs> Thank that you. can't be the last thank word, so that. I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> and me too. All right. Yeah. Thank Thanks you for so being much here for being with. here. I hope you come back. Love you, buddy. L- love you. Thank you all. Bye. I was talking to my listeners. Oh, Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to you. Forever <laughs> Dog. This has been a Forever Dog production. Executive produced by Dog. Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. For more original Dog. podcasts, please visit foreverdogpodcasts.com. And subscribe to our shows on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Keep up with the latest Forever Dog news by following us on Twitter and Instagram, at Forever Dog Team, and liking our page on Facebook.